Sunscreen ban debate picking up steam this week. A Florida lawmaker now trying to crack down on sunscreens that contain ingredients scientists say hurt our coral reefs. In fact, Key West just voted on a ban this week. News Channel 5's Alex Hagan live for us in Jupiter tonight with why some oppose these efforts. Alex? Well, Jay Shannon, the two chemicals that we're talking about here are oxybenzone and octanoxate. You actually can find those chemicals in most of the sunscreens you find at the store. But some dermatologists say they oppose these so-called bans, citing human health and safety right here in Florida. At fishing headquarters in Jupiter. 2298. Okay. Tommy Schultz. It's still, I mean, it's a great club. We'll always be pro-environment. You know, throw back what you're not going to use, you know, clean up when you're done. Which is why he supports a ban on certain chemicals found in sunscreen. Help the reefs and help, you know, help the environment. Senator Linda Stewart of Orlando just filed a bill that would require a prescription for sunscreen products containing oxybenzone and octanoxate. Two chemicals, scientists say, can cause coral bleaching and ultimately kill coral. Not be as healthy as they should be. Caitlin Lustick is with the Nature Conservancy, an organization pushing for these bans. That's something that's a pretty easy local threat that we can um, help address by uh, changing the kind of sunscreen that we're wearing. But on the flip side, one dermatologist told me she opposes the ban because she will always advocate keeping people safe from the sun. Out on the beach today. This is my 60. I found Bonnie Petrosino, an oncology nurse. Use it every day that I'm in the sun. I see it both ways. She knows. I have to protect my skin and my family's skin against cancer, skin cancer. But I also know we need to protect our environment. Looking to use maybe reef safe sunscreen in the near future. Now, it's unclear what kind of support this legislation will get in Tallahassee. On a side note, Hawaii became the first state just last year to ban those chemicals found in sunscreen. Reporting live in Jupiter, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5.